My name is Jade Dharma Wangza. Jade Dharma Wangza. Today is October 25th, 2019. Um, uh, December 4th, 2020. I have exactly 48,500. I currently have 51,000 Instagram followers. I have around 285,000 subscribers right now. I have 381,000 YouTube subscribers. Ooh! Well, it's funny, my favorite video I've made is one of the lowest performing videos, but it's probably when I threw an event in Los Angeles. It's called launching an event in 24 hours. All my friends were in it. I love it. It didn't perform well, but I loved it. Ah, oh, I mean, the best video I've made so far has to definitely be, I made a surf film and it was about how entrepreneurship is like surfing. And although it didn't get like a lot, a lot of views, I just loved making it. And that made me super happy. I wish I was a lot more, what is the best? <laughs> I don't really want to change anything about myself. Oh, I wish I had longer lashes. <laughs> is that okay if I say that? I really do like myself though. I, I really do. I, I don't like the situation I'm in, but I think I like myself. I think Jade's pretty cool. I'd like to change my bad relationship with food. I don't have the best consistent eating. In addition to that, I'm very critical of myself. I wish I could just sometimes turn off my brain that's criticizing me all the time. Yes, I'm single and it's great. <laughs> I am very single, ready to mingle. Just kidding, no, I'm, I'm alone for a reason. I'm focusing on myself, but the answer is I'm single, okay? <laughs> An ideal weekend would be like 50% of the day would be filming videos or, or like a skit or like a movie or I love I love art. And then the other part of the day, I would I would like to spend it with my friends. I used to love to work a lot, like a lot, a lot. Where I just want to be around my work. Now my ideal weekend, I feel like it's just having no plans, waking up and knowing that the entire day is up to you. Like you can do anything. So hiking, surfing hanging out with a friend, just having no plans. It's so annoying when people classify me as the same circle of like course sellers or fucking like digital marketing, which I still do, which I can't actually be mad about because it gives me a lot of opportunities. But I just fucking hate the bubble that I'm classified in because I'm also super passionate about art, technology, film, acting. So I am so mad when people just say that like, they classify me in this pool of people. And I'm honestly offended when people do that, so yeah. <laughs> I think people misunderstand that I need a lot of help and that because I'm such an extroverted person, I feel it's a cure because I'm reaching out to people, but no one sometimes I feel like reaches out to me. So I feel like it's the needing of validation and people don't maybe don't ex uh, you know assume that because maybe I appear more confident. So this year I wrote down my 2019 goals. I don't really accomplish much, but I wanted to go to Dubai. I want to go to Australia. I want to get an apartment in LA. I wanted to do so many things. I didn't even do it this year, which I'm actually okay with because I brought me other places, but yeah, Dubai would be sick. I want to surf in Bali. I want to surf in Portugal. I want to surf. I, I recently picked up surfing this year. I, I want to just travel and surf, obviously with social distancing. Um, precautions. When I'm by myself, I just think about money. Recently, I've been like funding this project and it eats up a lot of money. So I'll be honest, like I was going down to zero multiple times, but then I make it all back. But then I like go back to zero. So it's so much anxiety. I don't want it to be just about money, but that's currently the situation. How I hate myself, how I think I'm fat, how I think I'm poor, how I think I'm not good enough. That's what I think about myself genuinely but I'm getting better at not thinking those things and starting to choose like self-love as cheesy as it sounds, but like default brain, that's what Jay thinks about. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like worried, but I'm also really content. Like, I don't think I'm generally super, super optimistic, but I think I'm very content and like thankful. Um, so I guess that makes me happy. Right now, I think I am. I think I wasn't in the beginning and middle of this year. I didn't really know what I was doing in my business. I didn't really know what I was doing in my personal life in terms of like, I was in a few relationships back and forth. But I think right now I found happiness in not like having everything I wanted, but being acceptant of my situation and, and embracing it. And I think as cheesy as it sounds like, I don't 
think I would change anything else. I'm, I'm pretty happy. I like binge eat. Oh my God, it's so bad. Anyone who has been to any social event has seen me have this issue. I like start eating a lot of food and I'm really full. It doesn't make sense. Like I, I punish myself and it's so bad. I hate the fact that at 5 p.m. after I work, I start to stress eat. Stress eating needs to stop. <laughs> my best friend is Brennan and Haley and my dad and my mom. <laughs> And probably Ryan as well, which is Haley's boyfriend. Uh, but like the first three people I named are like my core core best friends. My best friend right now is Claire Liu. What's up, girl? We went to Hawaii. I would also consider my friend Madeline. What's up, girl? From my hometown. I would also consider Danya, Johnny, Haley, my friends from class, also one of my greatest friends ever. And I'm really thankful for them. Uh, is it bad? I feel like I haven't done anything. I don't know. I guess if I had to say the biggest thing I've done this year would be hosting an event in, L in LA. That's pretty big to me, but I don't feel really accomplished to be honest. I don't think I've done anything remarkable. The biggest thing ever, which I can't believe I'm saying it, is this fall I worked on directing influencer management and creative for uh, TikTok House and it's called The House of Us. It was for the election this year. And I worked with some amazing names and brands and people that I've never thought I would work with. In addition, I launched my first course ever with a company that I like love. So it's been a really crazy year professionally. I'm, I'm very thankful and I, it blows my mind when I think about it. This past year, I met amazing people. I think I've met so many smart people and talented people that I'm actually thinking to do business with. And like the biggest thing that happened to me is I got invited to like YouTube events and really amazing masterminds and stuff like that. And because of that, I've been able to think outside the box through those opportunities. Uh, I think surfing, like on a, on a more personal note, I learned how to surf. I was deathly afraid of the ocean. So it's not necessarily the skill, but also overcoming a huge fear of mine, which was water. <laughs> a year from now, how, what am I supposed to know? Okay, one year from now, Jade. I hope that you figure out this money thing. I really hope that you realize that your ideas, like you're super, super valuable. Um, I know some days you don't feel like it. And I also hope that you just stop chasing things and start saying no more often. Jane, I know you have an issue with fucking saying yes to everything because you want to get, you don't want to mess up or feel messed out. But I hope you can be confident in yourself, say no and be abundant. And I know it's hard because you feel like everything's running out, but I just, I really hope that you know your value, Jade. I know that your dad tells you that short term, you don't know how you're gonna be okay, but long term, you're gonna be all right. So uh, keep that faith, Jade, you're gonna be great. <laughs> Jade, Jade, oh, bitch. I would say, you know, first of all, you do not know what's coming ahead of you. Like you might be locked down for a little bit. So like embrace your moments. Like I spent a lot of time worrying about the future. I still do, but I would tell a year ago, Jade, like enjoy the fucking moment. Also just understand that like you might not know everything and that's okay. My entire life I was told I'm an entrepreneur. I'm great. Like YouTube gave me a lot of validation. And I think I would tell my my old self too, like you don't have to be those things. You can do whatever you want, whether it's music, surfing, like don't def don't let the world define you and like keep reinventing yourself every day because you're not what people tell you you are. So here's the thing. I don't really have much regret because every, and I, that sounds cocky, but I actually do everything that I want, which is actually kind of crazy. I know people say you're going to regret the things that you don't do. I totally agree with that. I've gone to zero because of my habits of just being super impulsive like literally I think because I don't have school and I wrote in my own company and like all that stuff like I literally just go all out because I've already been all out so if I had to say my biggest regret would be so far maybe it would be telling more people that I love them because I don't really say I need help to people I think that's the biggest regret I, I feel like I don't show maybe I could show more appreciation to people around me. I don't really have money. I think I was very thankful to like do whatever I wanted. Like I moved to a new city during quarantine, saved up money um, for that. I was able to travel with my friend Claire. I made a lot of mistakes in business financially and I learned from it. So I don't have regrets. I mean, I guess I don't see my parents as much. So I regret that. Like I haven't seen them in a few months. The biggest thing I've learned in my life so far is there's only things you can control 
and there's things you can't control. And you're going to be fucking miserable if you focus on the things you can't control. And things you can't control, Jade, are people's opinions, you know, how the market responds. You can only do so much. And for the longest time, like even today, I just only focus on the things I can't control, which is stupid as fuck. I feel like the best thing you can do is your, your work and your time and your mindset. There's the only things you can control. So that's my biggest lesson so far. That making money is so unimportant if the world's literally on fire. Like, what's the point of succeeding in life when there's not people around you that you care about that are thriving, doing well? I think that there's, you know, my definition of success used to be run a 500 person uh, company, make a lot of money, end all be all. And I learned that it doesn't matter without human rights and other things being taken care of. And I feel like I'm not trying to say I'm less ambitious now, but like we got to slow down. There's nothing wrong with slowing down in terms of taking a break for your mental health, Jade, like if you need time or if you, you know, want to take a different career path, whether it's from marketing to like, I don't know, social issues, like you don't have to always grow because growth does not equivalent to numbers. There's so many other measurements of growth. So like do whatever the fuck you want. That's what I learned. Uh, my biggest fear is uh, is going broke but not even that because I know like I never grew up with much I guess my biggest fear is like going broke and not having a family like my mom and dad them going sick that's scary but like even then I know that like I have a really good friend circle so I just I think my current biggest fear is just being alone is I think that's just it like I don't like sitting with my thoughts at all and being alone forever which obviously is not real, is like so scary to me. For the longest time, my biggest fear was losing status. Like I built up this name for myself in, and professionally. And I always think one day my friends, especially in this like entrepreneur community slash extraordinary community, that they're gonna one day gonna call me out. And one day they're gonna be like, Jane is a fraud, I hate her. That's like also another big fear. Like my friends turning their backs on me and being like, yeah, she wasn't that good anyways. Uh. <laughs> but yeah, that's it. Okay, so this last question is one that you asked yourself last year. What is so far your biggest failure? I asked myself that? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's so weird. Okay, I think my failure was probably moving too fast. I think I felt a pressure to grow really fast, so I decided to spend more money and like burn more energy for some reason. Like I felt like not doing anything was a bad thing. So like this summer, I think that's the biggest failure. Like I decided to start a Buzzfeed channel that never worked out and it's just sitting there now. We spent a lot of time and energy building those and it's just literally sitting there. But even then, like even then, like I learned so much from it. So I don't even think it's that much of a failure. Like spending, let's just say three months and like a few thousand dollars on building a channel that I learned so much from that helped no results is in, its, in itself like an experience that I think is valuable. So failure in the short term, yeah, that YouTube channel I try to build. But like on the long term, I learned so much about team building, management, content creation. I'm not mad at Jade. Although I did realize this year was the most like biggest revenue year for me, like my career in my agency. But I also realized like, like I just don't give myself credit. Like I literally have to, and this is a tangent, but I think I have to give my team credit. And that's why I like to work with a lot of people because I just don't know how to give it to myself. That is a huge fail for me because I just don't know how to accept gratitude. But although Jay, you did a good job this year, so I'm not really mad. So pat on the back. <laughs> good job. Jade, in one year, in one fucking year, what's that? 2020 October shit. Be a nice person. Say thank you more. Say I love you to your parents. I know you're kind of weird with your dad. I hope that you take the time out of your day to help others, even if they don't deserve it. I hope that you're, if you're successful, that you're humble. And if you're not successful, Jade, and you're kind of like an issue, I hope that you know you're still a badass bitch. So yeah.